you idiot. Mrs. Girlfriend, it is I, Sergeant Zombie, and I am gay. And as a gay, I like dicks and also ponies. That is all. That was our intro. Uh, thanks to Vicious Fox for that video. I'll put that in the link dump. That was uh, actually Coggy's voice that he got from a message from him. Anyway, welcome to the podcast, Under the Xbox Podcast. I'm Sergeant Zombie. We have KG Boom here in Asia Shore. Say hello. 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 One at a time, please. <laughs> I'm KG Boom. We're going to take you some crazy person with two mouths if you don't. Okay. There we go. All right. KG, get us started. Uh, okay. So, uh, Sergeant, why don't you tell us some Sergeant story time? Oh, I don't want to start start story time right uh, now. Okay. In uh, fact, I might not even do it. I want to save it for just the perfect moment. Just the perfect moment to say start and story time. Yeah, yeah, the time has to be right. Time you has to be, be in the mood. Mm-hmm. You have to be in the right uh, mood for disempowerment. I mean, you what? You have to be in the mood to get nude for start and story time. <laughs> nice. So nice. <laughs> okay, um, so um, I'll... K- I yeah, can't. KG, you start the story time here. Okay, Um, because of the recent heat wave in Britain... A lot of people has have, have had different reactions to it, uh, inc- myself included, because apparently it, radical weather changes, my body decides no, no, absolutely no. So as a as, as a as a form of protest, my left testicle decided to nestle inside my kidney. Ew! Did you? Ew! It's happened. It's happened three times the past two weeks. I'm I'm actually kind of getting a bit <laughs> no. I'm getting a bit worried. Is your testicle a little shy? Just <laughs> does it have to test the waters? Like your testicle like pokes its foot in the water? Like I don't know, I don't want to. No, let me stay in here. <laughs> like on one hand, it's funny as hell. On the other hand, it's medically fascinating how that happens. Yeah. Well, usually, mean, usually you've they... never had a ball go up inside of you. Usually I mean, they retract in contact to cold, not in scorching heat. In heat? Oh, I thought you said like it got heat and then it got cold real fast, like suddenly. No, in <laughs> Britain, it was like. In Britain, it's usually alive. Icy cold, like even yeah. in summer, and then the past couple of weeks, it's been fucking boiling. Oh man, we're not even a, maybe a minute into the podcast. We're talking about KG's balls. It's awesome. <laughs> Bitches just can't stay away. You just can't. You can't keep them off our tongues. <laughs> <laughs> that works two ways. Right? <laughs> All right. Oh, you. Oh, me. <laughs> uh, Destroyer. Do you want to continue with our uh, stories? Oh, uh, uh, do you want my story time? I want to hear your story time. Okay, let's do my story time. Oh. Uh- all right, so one t- one time when I was maybe five or six, I was helping out my uh, grandpa out in the garage. He had a really sweet car, I, but I can't remember what it was. Maybe a Thunderbird or something. I don't know. One of those real uh, like sixty, seventy muscle cars with those huge, big block engines and um, super sexy engines. <clears throat> Anyways, oh, pipes. Oh. Okay, go ahead. All right, so um, my uh. uh my grandpa, he was taking out the engine to, you know, uh, uh, get to something underneath it. I forget the exact, because I have no idea what I'm doing with cars. Like, all I know how to do is kick the tires, and that's it. But, um, so he took out the engine, and uh, the crane he used, it had been working perfectly before. I don't know what happened this time, but... <laughs> I can see where this is going. <laughs> it, it decided that... That hey I'm hey I don't get paid enough I don't want to carry this engine anymore so I decided to drop it right on my right big toe. Um, how much does that probably weigh? I have no idea. Maybe uh, I don't know, maybe four hundred pounds. Four hundred pounds, Jesus! And things are the thing is engines aren't like smooth. They're like they got a bunch of pieces on them. Yeah. No, nah, it, really? it probably doesn't feel good. <laughs> they got a bunch of I, pieces on them. They're not flat. They're gonna hurt. They're gonna jab into things too. I dare say oodles of pieces. Oh god. <laughs> that reminds me of something you, that uh, happened to uh, Top Hat quite recently. Remember when he posted? We'll get to that. Real quick. Oh. We gotta talk about how he's. We gotta talk about this toe. Continue. Oh. Okay. All right. So it's just 
it didn't really crush it so much as uh, just like cut it clean off, like like popped it off like a corkscrew on a wine bottle or something. Oh my god! A little bit, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, that's. I remember you described it as the blood rushing out. You described it as put a mento in a coke can and then. <laughs> Oh shit! Like that. So <laughs> yeah, you have no yeah, big toe was... left now. Well, I have a little bit of a big toe. Oh, so like now we can officially there. call you Sir Limps a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's mean, Daisy. Don't be sorry. Mean. Sorry, I had to. That was a friend's reference. If anyone's <laughs> got that. All right. So yeah, I went to the hospital. I don't really remember much of it. I just remember the blood. I just. Because, you know, I, I passed out because I was like five or six and getting my toe chopped off. That was... Uh, Wimp! That, 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 I'm looking down at my yeah, big woke... toe now and I'm I'm feeling sad for you, Destroyer. Let's all have a moment of silence for uh, Andy's big toe. We can take this time to uh, really appreciate our big toes and how much <laughs> rely on them. All right, thank you for that silence. All right, let's continue with the podcast. Okay. You had a story about Top Hat, didn't you? Like, ruin his oh, yeah, um, the story where he um, he was being all dramatic, saying he almost had his finger cut off when it was actually, like, I think, was it a socket what wrench? What did he do to it? Didn't he drop, like, a wrench on it or something? No, he, he dropped something, really. It looked kind of messed up, but um, it looked kind of messed up. I, I thought he dropped something really heavy on it. Anyway, I know exactly where they were linked up that if you want to read more into yeah. it. It's got pictures of his finger just kind of tore up and kind of looks like, didn't it look like his finger was like Frankenstein, like sewed together with other pieces of fingers um, and stuff? I never actually saw the pictures. I, I, I you did not? sort of okay. lost interest in Top Hat's personal life when he admitted that he liked me. weed. That me. Yeah, you're a cool guy if you like weed. I like cocaine and everybody <laughs> does <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so I like, um, to, I like to take a lot of PCP and then go around eating people's faces. <laughs> oh yeah, that's something we didn't. Yeah, let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. The naked Actually, guy. Actually, it's topical. Yeah, I don't understand why we didn't notice that at first. Uh, let's talk about the uh, naked man who was eating someone's face and was shot. Let's talk about that. Oh. What do you talk about? Okay. And that's all there is to say. Like, well, what? Like, I don't know where this take it because i honestly i'm just kind of dumbfounded on this <laughs> man he did his face he was naked and shot okay um, was like I'm, I'm a bit lost at the moment now uh, yeah. man eating face naked what is this some oh, yeah, in up? miami uh like saturday i think there was a guy that um apparently uh the official story is that he is suffering from something called a uh, um, cocaine hysteria, which causes his body heat to like go into overdrive. So he was like running like 106, 107, which is why he was found naked. And he was losing his mind, so he started eating this guy's face. Oh. There you go. I didn't, I didn't read much on it. All I heard was that. So I was waiting for someone to. You kind of just let me uh, dangle out there. It didn't really save me from that, Andy. You know, you had the power <laughs> Whatever. I like, I like Whatever. how you threw in the, uh, <laughs> anyway. the word dangle when we were talking about losing toes and mm-hmm. fingers. Uh, Sorry. Dangle's a funny word, though. Anyway. <laughs> we're also, we're also talking about I gold. totally want to disregard all facts about it. Disregard facts about it and say that it's a design apocalypse. And that we should repair. repair. I said repair. We should prepare for doom that is defeats. In the words of Ryan, I'm not saying it's zombies, but it's zombies. Yeah. <laughs> All right, touched on that. I wish we would have touched on more, but I don't think I have anything on I don't know anything about the subject, unless you guys want to say something real quick. Um, so... I touch a naked man. I still want to sit face with a naked man. Anyway, let's move on. Andy! Yeah, any, wait, no, we, we just uh, did you. KG! Want to talk about something real quick? Yeah, KG gets... Um, yeah, KG gets... Hmm. Uh, anyone want to talk about <laughs> Battlefield 3? Anyone? Or any other type of game that we would like to discuss before we start, before we move, before we return to the subject of my balls. We're going back to your balls? No, I just decided to throw that back in there. Anyway. 
Anyway, you, you could talk about Battlefield 3. I actually have not played Battlefield 3. I don't have any interest in getting it. Also, my Xbox Live is kind of messed up. I don't know why. Uh-huh. But you can talk about that. I will turn three minutes to see if you're done. Okie doke. Okie dokie, So he said he would be back in a few minutes. Let's just talk shit about him until he uh, decides that we're bored. Oh, yeah. Uh, what, oh, yeah, that Kagi. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, no, that... that my mind just derp like a motherfucker. Uh, that one sergeant asshole. Yeah, but yeah, um, the new Battlefield Three DLC looks quite good. It's not released yet though. Close quarters, I think it's called. I think. Uh, I don't see. I think all all it's gonna have is a couple of really small maps, some douchebag weapons, and oh, yeah. a broken shotgun again. Because what's yeah. Battlefield Three without a broken weapon? I mean, USAS twelve. <coughs> <laughs> that is horrendous. Yeah, that 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 shotgun. That's that's almost as bad oh, as the one man army noob tube from Modern Warfare Two. Except... Let's not talk about how the broken games are. Let's, yeah? let's move on. Uh, uh, you have a game you want to talk about real quick? Oh yeah, uh, this uh, it's really cool. It's uh, called uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's a game. It, um, okay, the uh, call uh, just kind of broke up a little. Three, so three, just for the record, uh, it's called Last Stand three, Dead Zone. Oh, it was fine for me. But okay, continue. Yeah, it's a uh, it's a lot of fun. It focuses less on the fighting, although it's a lot of fighting, and uh, more on the uh, resource acquisition and uh, protecting your compound from other tribes that want to try and take it. Hmm. Like you, Luke. I know where you live. Well, Luke, watch out. <laughs> what? All right. He's talking about coming for you. He's coming for a man named Luke. Uh. Yeah. KD, you uh, said you were looking at my uh, Skype avatar and said that my left eye was kind of messed up. Yeah. And I had a story for that, but I wanted to save it for the podcast. Uh, should I tell it now? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. You have quite I a lot remember... of stories you need to tell in this podcast. Uh, start a time. Start a story. All right. Uh, Sergeant Eye story. Uh, you guys asked about my eye. Like, uh, I have a Skype avatar as the picture of me my eye looks a little bit squinty kind of like messed up yeah what happened was uh when i was about 12 years old uh me and my friend went down to the shop at and Andy, shut up okay <laughs> <laughs> anyway we went down to the shop at and there's these uh high really high bushes like a lot taller than i am that kind of separate the uh housing from the uh, stores and stuff what uh, me and my friend were walking out of the shop at, and I, you know, jokingly, I stole his candy and ran. I ran to the bushes, and I remember looking back and looking forward. And the second I looked forward, a twig stabbed me right in my left eye. I, mm. yeah, it knocked me on my ass, and I just pulled my eye throbbing and just, uh, it, was, it was the worst. It was terrible. But anyway, now that's why my left eye squints whenever it just squints, like in all my ID cards. They're kind of squinting. One's kind of squinty. So that's such oh. a nice story. That's that's grim. <laughs> oh, anyway. So um, before we started recording, you uh, had some. You gave us some hints about another story. You're of, lagging. You're lagging. Ah, <sighs> for fuck's sake. Um, before yeah, you're lagging. Before we started recording. Talking louder doesn't stop lagging. <laughs> Oh my god. Hey, well, my hey, what? Hey, gee. Lagging. It's not my fault. Okay, so um You had other stories that you said you would tell us. Sorry, the story time. I don't Oh, my cousin's suspension? Exactly. You guys wanna hear that? Yes. You wanna hear that? It was on the list. I, yeah. Vivanto okay, uh, here, the suspension. suspension. It's a short story, 
but I found it hilarious. Pretty much what my cousin did is he took a dildo to school, <laughs> and he attached it to the front pants and walked around. What? Did like little helicopters around the school. Just walked around the school with <laughs> <little> helicopters. <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> He started helicoptering around the school. Helicoptering around. The teacher's <laughs> was it like one of the uh, one of the floppy ones? <laughs> <laughs> that is... We we seem to have taken a grim turn tonight. I don't think that's grim at all. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's it's the uh, never mind. <laughs> All right. Um, who sold him a dildo? I don't. I, that's what I want to know. How did he get one? <laughs> I think maybe you like we'll talk to, like his friends who happen to be a girl. Uh, I think he might have one of his friends. And <laughs> let's let let's go to brothers. You said you had one. KG. I mean, yeah, KG. Yeah. Go go. Uh, what do you mean go? Um, okay. Um, let me just hold on a second. I'm just gonna I'm gonna check myself before you wreck yourself. Yeah. All right. How about while you do that, I'll do it. Would you rather? All right. Hey, Danny, would you rather touch it a bowling ball or piss a marble? Um, I've done the first one, so I think yeah, I think I'll shit another bowling ball. Thanks. I think a bowling ball would kill me. Although pissing a marble yeah. would fucking an wreck. No. Get out of it. No, no. Some of the, some of the I ones know, I've... when it comes out, it'd be like, look at how big I am. <laughs> with a like with a bowling ball, there's no like when it's done, it's like, like what benefits? What benefits you there? I don't think. I think I would probably use the marble. That must well, what actually kind if, of bowling you, ball? Uh, if you do the first one, if you do shit a bowling ball, that must have been one fucking hell of a hangover. Oh god. <laughs> How did you get in there, Mr. Bowling Ball? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, what are your what are your answers now, KG? Probably piss a marble. Uh, Andy. Yeah, marble. Yeah, I'm gonna say marble too. All right. <laughs> Another one. Would you rather fight five horses the size of ducks or one <laughs> duck the size of a horse? <laughs> what? <That's> fucking <laughs> I'd actually like to fight five horses the size of ducks because that might be quite funny. I gotta think. I gotta. I gotta. Yeah, I gotta think. Like five horses, they could probably like like kick you really hard in your knees, and I got weak knees, so they'd probably take me out. Unless I can like sideswipe them, like, and, like you know. But one duck the size I... of a horse, actually. One duck the size of a horse, though. The only thing actually... a duck has going for it is it like like nips at you. Actually, okay, I'm, I'm gonna take. I'm gonna. I think I might go for the uh, one duck the size of a horse because hopefully, if if I'm lucky, I might try and tame it. And then, I mean, oh, how God, good, yeah. how awesome would that be to ride into school on a fucking duck? Oh, God, right into battle like a giant banana sword. In your hand and it's riding on a duck. <laughs> Actually, oh, you I could, was seeing the exact you, same you, thing. You, you could get the dildo off your cousin, and then you could. <laughs> ride... <laughs> As you ride into battle, you could be like waving that in the air, going charge. Just smacking people. I don't know the noise dildos make. But... <laughs> All right. And plus, you'd be one step closer to a giant turducken. <laughs> no idea what that is. What is that? You don't know what turducken is? Oh, I have. Are they a type of duck? Don't want... All, right. Oh. All right. All right. So a turducken is you take chicken and you take oh. that thick inside of a duck and you stuff it inside of a turkey. Right. Well, you can deep fry it. And that's. Well, I mean, if it's the size of a, if the, I mean, if it's if the duck is the size of a horse, you could probably take a horse and stuff it inside of a duck, and then you could probably eat horse with duck. Nice. And then probably take. So you like know, to take a whole pig. Can can the horse be live? That, that'd be a grim scene. That would be terrible. I would, I would love. It's like a stitched together duck with like like a horse just kicking it around inside of it. Oh god. Because awful. Like my previous victims, I like to I like them to struggle before I eat them. That's so. terrible, Cage. <laughs> okay, it's kind of like that's kind of the whole point. Like, sure, it's okay if they're submissive, but 
kind of takes some of the some of the sport out of it, you know. Yeah, I mean, you people know. are insane. <laughs> you would so know, you wouldn't you? Because right. you you you're a raging necrophiliac, aren't you? Who me? I wouldn't say raging. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are talking about? Anyway, <laughs> would you rather go foot first through a wood chipper or a steamroller? Steamroller. <laughs> Absolutely, steamroller. Okay. I want to see my head explode. What? Um, I probably put wood chippers to the opposite. Well, I mean, the exact same reason. Only I don't want to see my head explode like that. I wouldn't want to be a toothpaste container. Actually, I, I think want to be I think if you went foot first through a steamroller, you'd probably die by the time it gets to your groin. Same thing with wood chippers. Because the there'll, I mean. there'll be so much pressure built up from your uh, from it crushing your legs and pushing all the blood and the muscles upwards. So basically, it'll be like if you ever gotten a bottle of like milkshake or something, laid it down on the sidewalk and then just fucking stomped on that shit. I don't know. I say I say it's like really painful. I'm not saying the wood chipper's any better. I say you'd probably bleed out with the wood chipper faster. Yeah. I don't know. Could, could, it, could it just be my foot? Because I think I can. Uh, I think I can live with with a foot missing. I, I could. I could get one of the your knee down. I, with your knee down, I probably still pick wood chipper because uh, I don't. I don't want to feel it crush. Hey, West's here. Do you want to add West to the call real quick? Okay, but I think if I um if, yeah, sure, if, if I could lose like from the knee down, I could get one of those leg braces like you see in Portal, and I think that might be quite okay. cool. Oh, that'd be cool. All right. Uh, we already went through that. So you guys answered. I said wood chipper. KG, you said what? Um, let me just eeny me eeny meeny oh, miny mo. Uh, yeah. Hey, oh. West, if you're on the podcast, say hi, West. Oh, oh that's very beautiful. It's lovely. Ah. All right. Since you're here now, I think this one's pretty good. Uh, you have to kill one person on the podcast. Who is it and why? Pick wisely. Yeah, Pick very wisely. Why me? What did I do? <laughs> you didn't even put that many much thought into it. You didn't even add a reason. Like, yep, that's sorry, guys. Who needs him? Because he has the potential to destroy the world. Oh, yeah. Well, well, you know, in all fairness, you are wearing a clown nose. I know. Isn't and it? My second pick would be Destroyer. Ha 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 on the list. Okay. All right, Andy, what do you think? A Destroyer, what do you think? Um, hmm. Is everyone an option? Uh, no. <laughs> you know, that'd be, that'd be more Basically, fair. Basically, the person, person you want to kill person, first. KG West then... Rye. Uh, uh, you say my name, I'll fucking cut you. <laughs> He's gonna cut you, you better get him first. You can Don't do it. Me, motherfuckers. You can do it in a uh, top, you <laughs> can do it in a top three. The, f- the person you want to kill first you say first and then the person who you just you know i'll deal with him in a second and then the person you would deal right, with yeah, last. Uh, i think it'd be, be kg boom first because you have a weird beard going on. <laughs> i have a weird beard going on wow okay thanks you're gonna kill me oh, because KG, can... what are you who would you kill uh is it a soul patch i, I can't tell <laughs> it's it's actually a goatee soul it's patch like Kind of like my character on Vatful. Um, anyway, I think I'd you. kill. Uh, hmm. The suspense is killing you, is it not? Uh, Use wisely, motherfucker. <laughs> um, Come on, man! It's dead air. West. West. All right. West is dead. Um. Why? Fuck you. Why exactly? <laughs> Boy, it seems shifty. Because he plays piano? Probably because he plays piano. Yeah, musician's <laughs> rivalry. <laughs> Alright, it's my turn. I would probably kill... Anyone on the podcast? Who has been on the podcast? Or just right now? Oh, you can oh, pick... Sorry, I realize you just posted the... Po- I'm it's gonna sorry, be Coggy if I could pick Coggy. If he says banana, like, banana! Banana! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry oh, yeah. to Stuff, by the way, I forgot about that. Yeah, if, if that was, if Kagi was a choice, I'd choose Kagi too. Yeah, everyone, everyone can agree we'd kill Kagi if we had the opportunity, yeah. right? We'd kill he's Goose, right? Where, where is Kagi? He's, um, he's got exams because it's 
exam season in England right yeah. now. Oh no, he doesn't study. He revises. <laughs> <laughs> Fancy words like revise. Should we uh should we get Dexter in here? Um, we're just about finished up anyway. How much time do we have, KG? Uh, we have we've just done about ten Dexter minutes, talk, and talk, then talk. the uh, last two uh, things before we cut out was um about twenty minutes. So we've got about half an hour. Got really? half an hour. Oh yeah, well, yeah, half an hour is about the time we want to stop. Let's uh let's do one let's talk about one more thing, and then we'll uh we'll stop it right about there. We talked about oh KG your uh, day of, day of sex thing. Oh yeah, if I can if I can get it. Uh, if I can, if I can get YouTube to allow me to do longer than fifteen minutes, I might do a two-hour Deus Ex marathon just to tide everyone over. Cool. That's nice. That's nice. So yeah, everyone go to Kate's mm. channel. Uh, I actually I don't have a cell phone, so it was kind of like hard for me to actually because you have to put a uh, cell phone number to verify it's you. So uh, I had to, I think I'd use my sister's cell phone number. Actually, let's let's run let's run uh, west to the all the would you rather's that he missed. Oh, and right, oh. right on that. All right. So West, right. just let West answer here. Would you rather shit a bowling ball or piss a marble? Oh, I'd still rather shit a bowling ball. The bowling ball? Much <laughs> rough. <laughs> Why would you want to piss a? It doesn't even matter. That's still. Can I change my here's, answer? Here's my. You want to change your answer? All right. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go with West on this one. I'm gonna shit a bowling ball instead. Why? Why exactly? So emotional man. support, we can both shit bowling balls together. <laughs> <laughs> and then and then and then after then afterwards I'm gonna take advantage of his weakened state and kill him. Oh god. So you're saying that you wouldn't be weak ball. this. Like you're like you're uh what is the word? What is the word? You're uh used to this kind of thing now. So you're not weakened by it? Nope. Oh, you're right. used to shitting bowling Did balls. You All right. West, would you rather fight five horses the size of ducks or one duck the size of a horse? <laughs> I stand by my Dude, answer. Dude, I could eat like a king if I, if I fought a duck horse. Oh. Yeah, it's the second one. Second one? All right, why? Hunting season. All right. All right, foot first through a wood chipper or a steamroller? Foot first through a steamroller or a wood chipper? Mm -hmm. Or foot, oh foot. god, that doesn't sound good either way. I chose wood chipper. Everyone else kind of chose steel roller. Yeah, because you still have the fucking foot left. It'll be mm -hmm. a bit, it'll be a bit thinner than the rest of your body, but you still have it left. Well, if you were made out of taffy, you'd be all good. But <laughs> <I don't know>. <laughs> <laughs> you would get taffy everywhere. That stuff is messy. Actually, that reminds Worth me it. of a oh, film taffy I man. Anyway, Wes, what's your answer? Uh, Steamroller, my God! All right, I have one more for all of us, and then we're gonna end it right on this. Okay? Would you rather, <laughs> would you rather sit on a dick and eat a cake, or eat a dick and sit on a cake? Did I say that right? So, the first one would, would you, you rather, rather sit on a cake and eat a dick, or sit on a dick and eat a cake? So, okay, I'm just gonna put this into British terms. So, sorry, would you rather? You would, you rather... would you rather? Be... What? Go. Would you rather Wait, get what? fucked up the ass and eat a cake, or suck a dick and feel like you've shat yourself? Well, I mean, like, you, it wouldn't, if you sat on the cake, you'd probably be, I don't know, what do you guys, what do you think? Sit, sitting on a cake? Yeah, you said that, like, therapeutic. <laughs> you think? Is <laughs> this, <laughs> is this, is this before or after we shat the bowling ball? Um, the bowling ball is out of this universe. Oh my right god, it's <laughs> just the cake. It's just the cake. Sergeant, before I answer, would you rather be banned or would you rather be banned? Um, <laughs> let's see, if I'm banned, that means that, but if also if I'm banned, that also means, I don't know. I don't know, but. Sir, science rule. Let's answer now. I have a feeling West's gonna ban, he's gonna abuse his power and ban me for saying I'd kill him first. Alright, you guys are homophobes. I'm not answering Why would you, you know? I'm not answering you guys answer it first. Yeah, I, I would rather I'd rather I'd rather eat a cake and sit on a dick than the other way around because I'm, I might, I've, I might I've, go with you on that one because like sitting <coughs> is nasty. Like there's icing in it. Yeah, I mean God like, damn it. Does a dick have to be in you or 
Or can you just can you oh, just sort of like sit yeah, sandwiching between your hey, you know. <laughs> or or you could just sort of like sit above it and say oh, like and you and pretend that you have two dicks. Like, <laughs> you know, before we cross another line and get weirder. <laughs> My favorite. All right. Uh, this has been the Undead Xbox Podcast. I'm Stone Zombie. That's A Destroyer. Say hi. No. <laughs> That's West Hybrid. Say hi. I'm, <laughs> I'm That's KG. Say hi. Uh, bye. Okay, bye, everyone. Bye. Fuck you.